Ground Cover recently released three user monitoring capabilities, making it the first ever to run completely inside your cloud, meaning all user data is never streamed to a third-party cloud but always stays inside your environment. This makes real user monitoring the fourth pillar of the Ground Cover platform, adding to infrastructure monitoring, logs management, and APM. Before we dive in, for those of you who are not familiar with real user monitoring, this is the practice of collecting metrics and events on actual user and browser state, things like clicks, exceptions, and navigation events, and this is in order to troubleshoot client-side problems and performance issues. Let's dive into the product features we built for RUM. In the RUM page, you can view a list of sessions. The columns available to you on the quick glance are the user email, the number of errors, you can also sort by them, the number of pages this user visited inside this session, the duration of the session, the browser, and the device. If you click on a specific session, you can also view the list of events that occurred in this session. You can see that the page load will always be the first, and then any interaction the user did, any log, and any network request. You can uh, search them by their name. You can see the custom event sent called add flower to cart. And you can also filter them by type. If, for example, I wanted only to see logs, I can filter by the logs and I can also add network events as well. The session drawer also showing you some basic details about the session. You can see the user email, the device, the browser, the session duration, and the start and end timestamps of the session. The metrics on top of the page are showing you performance metrics and error rate calculations. This is aggregated stats over time based on the date picker value. You can see the average INP, CLS, page load time, error rate, and user count. This gives you a high-level overview of your application health. If you want to explore some events over time, we've also provided charts. So you can see the exceptions over time and their number, the sessions over time, and the visited pages. This can help you spot trends and spikes in your application health, and in your user uh, activity. You can also filter on the side based on user email or type in based on a lot of properties that you are sending from the SDK. You can also search by specific event that happened in the session. For example, if I want to see only sessions with a specific error or interaction or some performance metric, I can search based on this event key. So if I'm looking, for example, for a specific sessions with an error of the sunflower are not available, I can click on the search and see the list of sessions where this error has occurred. If I'd want to do advanced exploration of the data available to me using RUM, I can go to the Data Explorer page and switch to the RUM Query Builder. I can, for example, explore errors and group them by their error fingerprint to view a list of errors over time. Now, if I want to track this constantly, I can save this as a dashboard, call it, for example, exceptions dashboard. Now I'll have a permanent view of all the stats. This can give me a basic overview of my application health, and I can start and add more widgets. For example, I can search for specific custom events and see them by the user email. Now the next logical step to do is to create a monitor based on the exceptions, for example. In ground cover, I can also create monitors based on my queries. So if I want to create a monitor of the number of exceptions and alert me if they exceeded the number that I expect them to be, I can do it from the monitor wizard page. For more information about RUM, check out our docs or reach out to ground cover.